K. Zimmer with WebSense Engineering. In this video, we'll explain how to get the best results from Triton AP Data Fingerprints. This is part one of a series on database fingerprinting best practices. Triton AP Data can fingerprint your most sensitive data so you can control and monitor its location and movement. With fingerprints, you can detect sensitive information despite manipulation, reformatting, or other modification. Fingerprints enable the protection of whole or partial documents, previous and similar versions, as well as snippets, whether cut and pasted or retyped. To prevent unintended matches and optimize fingerprint scans, you can follow the industry best practices described in this video. There are two types of fingerprinting. File or document fingerprinting lets you fingerprint unstructured documents or directories, including those in Microsoft SharePoint and IBM Domino. Database fingerprinting lets you fingerprint structured records retrieved directly from your database table, Salesforce table, or CSV file. This video focuses on structured database fingerprinting. Triton AP Data supports many types of databases, such as those shown here. For a list of supported database drivers, refer to the Data Security Manager Help System found in the WebSense Technical Library. Before you indicate which rows or columns of your database to fingerprint in the Triton Manager, let's learn some best practices, what to fingerprint, what to avoid, and how to do so. Here, we are looking at a customer database table in the SQL Server Management Studio. To comply with industry best practices, there are several fields you should not fingerprint. For example, do not fingerprint null values because the chance for them to appear in random text is high, increasing chances of false positives. Beware that rows with empty cells are not detected by the policy engine. And do not fingerprint short values fewer than four characters. For example, single letter middle names. Do not fingerprint cells with more than 10 words. Cells with long text dramatically increase analysis time and the chance of timeout. Long sentences are not likely to appear exactly as is in analyzed content anyway. If someone copies text from the database, the system will detect a match on the partial text. If necessary, use a validation script to fingerprint the first 10 words. These scripts are run prior to the fingerprinting scan. More on these later. Do not fingerprint uninteresting or irrelevant cells, such as those with invalid credit card numbers, social security numbers, or product part numbers. Use a validation script to check the cell content against regular expressions to make sure that the data is valid. Do not fingerprint repetitive values, like city names. This can cause many false positives. Combine a fingerprinting classifier with a dictionary classifier that lists cities instead. Triton AP Data provides several types of content classifiers to describe the data you are protecting. Combine them in strategic ways to get the results you desire. If you are fingerprinting names, Avoid fingerprinting first and last names as two separate columns. Instead, do a SELECT query that combines the two when setting up the scan in the Data Security Manager. For example, here is one possible query. This is specified in the Data Security Manager when you configure your fingerprinting classifier. Do not fingerprint phone numbers or date-time fields. Numbers are very common and can also cause many false positives. Date type fields are ignored by default, but avoid fingerprinting string type dates as well. Avoid fingerprinting address columns. It will cause latency because there are many short words in the address, like the abbreviation for street, st dot, and numbers that appear often. Consider using one of the system's predefined rules instead. In summary, avoid fingerprinting uninteresting, repetitive information, as well as names, phone numbers, dates and time, and addresses. Depending on what you're trying to protect, 
sometimes it's better to use out-of-the-box script classifiers rather than fingerprinting. For example, instead of fingerprinting credit card numbers, use the CCN classifier in combination, perhaps, with a name fingerprint. In addition to these tips, the following suggestions can have a huge impact on performance and accuracy. Do not fingerprint more than 100 million cells, that's columns times rows. Schedule fingerprinting tasks once a week and not every day, or use incremental fingerprinting when applicable. If you are protecting endpoints, make sure that you allocated enough space for the fingerprint signatures. New fingerprints will not reach your endpoints if you have not. When fingerprinting a CSV file, make sure the file's encoding is UTF-8. Slow databases can cause fingerprinting to take a very long time, and the management console might time out. Run the following SQL query to see if this will be an issue for you. Select top 100 star from table name. If it takes more than one minute to return, avoid fingerprinting this database or make sure the database is responsive. Triton AP Data includes a mechanism that forwards database data to an external script for processing before fingerprinting. The script is called a validation script. Use the validation script to strip out any unwanted content before you fingerprint it. You can use a default script or you can create or customize one for your purposes. During a database fingerprinting scan, if the crawler finds a script matching the name of your fingerprinting classifier, it runs it. If it does not, it runs the default script. If you want to customize the default validation script, for example, remove unwanted values or add validations, modify the default validation INI file. For example, to validate ISBN numbers before fingerprinting them, do the following. Open the INI or INI file. In the Column Validators section, add an ISBN column as shown. Add a new section for ISBN and provide a regular expression for it as shown. When you are done, rename the three default validation script files, bat, INI, PI, from default underscore validation to my classifier underscore validation. Once you optimize your database for fingerprinting, you can create a fingerprinting classifier in the Data Security Manager. See part two of this video series for a demonstration. We hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.